I met this goal in under one year. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Since Day One. Before we get into this video about R. Kelly, go ahead and like the video, comment down below, and if you are new, smash that subscribe button to take flight with us. Fake love, I don't need it, you can keep it, that's a fact. I, I had to make up my mind, my mind. I took that weight on my shoulder. I took that weight on my shoulder. I done been down so so it seems like R. Kelly is not getting out anytime soon, you guys. And no matter what excuses he comes up with, the judge is just not trying to hear it. He has named everything from medical needs to not just he needs to be touched. He needs to be loved. He misses his girlfriends. He wants to be home with them. And now R. Kelly has so much going on, you guys. He's getting inside prison legal advice. So you know when you in the county jail or something like that and you didn't got your first ticket and you scared and you asking everybody hey man what you think they gonna do this is what I mean when I say jailhouse attorneys they're in there they're in the law library they feel like that they've ran across something that could have pertained to their case but since they already lost well let me apply this to the next individual y'all know r kelly is a legend so all the men in there trying to be his best friend and get on his commissary list because they know his is fat the last thing r kelly could have possibly did wrong was tell another inmate what's going on in his life because they ain't gonna do nothing but try to make a dollar off of it but let me go ahead and let y'all know what happened and how R. Kelly ended up getting some jailhouse advice. R. Kelly is getting support from a gentleman who is already locked up after the inmate filed legal documents in their singer's case to warn him of people being out to get him. According to the legal documents obtained by the blast, an inmate at the William P. Bill Clements unit in Amarillo, Texas, says he wants a copy of R. Kelly's case sent to him and he seems to be warning R. Kelly of the people in the system that are out to get him. R. Kelly's jailhouse advisor says that jail staff are being paid to commit federal crimes, violating civil rights of R. Kelly. The inmate says in his handwriting filing, although he does not say which prison or who he is referring to. He continued, have clerks provide R. Kelly with a copy of this to know his rights, everyone against him, his attorneys also. The prison itself has a storied history. In June 2013, the U.S. Bureau of Justice Statistics of the prisons holding men in the Clements Unit had the eighth highest rate of prisoners who reported that prisoners stated that they had had during that past year experienced victimization from another prisoner. It doesn't look like it's going to help much. The judge in R. Kelly's case denied the request from a third party not connected to the case. The judge ordered there is no provision in the federal rules of the criminal procedure or intervention by a third party in a criminal proceeding. The Seventh Circuit has indicated that intervention in a criminal case is permitted when the potential intervener has a legitimate interest in the outcome and cannot protect that interest without becoming a party. The movement has not identified any such legitimate interest. Moreover, the motion is largely illegible. Therefore, there is no basis upon which to grant this motion and it is denied. The singer complains about his jail visits now saying the visits are severely restricted presently he is only allowed one and unrelated person to visit in other words although he lives and has lived with two lady friends only one of them is allowed to be on his visiting list and after 90 days he is required to switch no other friends or professional colleagues are allowed to visit and that is not right. R. Kelly is due back in court later this month, you guys. All I have to say about this situation, you guys, is R. Kelly is reaping what he sowed and there is a consequence to everything you do, good and bad. And when he chose to make those, those decisions during the 30 years that he was messing up, those are the decisions that he decided to make. So these are his consequences. R. Kelly wants everyone to feel sorry for him and the things that he decided to do, but no one is feeling that. R. Kelly is trying to get some sympathy. He wants someone on his side to bear with him and help get him out of this situation. But what he does not know is the feds would not have you if they didn't have evidence against you. And there's a 98% federal conviction rate and I do believe that R. Kelly is not gonna beat the other two percent he's just not I'm sorry I mean I will definitely keep you guys updated with everything that's going on with R. Kelly I promised you guys that last year in January when surviving R. Kelly came out that I would keep you guys updated and that's what I'm going to do leave your thoughts and opinions down below and let me know how y'all feel about this you guys and I will see you guys in the next video Long, so long. Sleeping from soap with a soap. Sleeping from soap with a soap. Now I'ma step on these little bitty bitches. Hit some brand new Gucci low. Some Gucci walking on. I got tired of eating Big Mama's.
chicken, now it's business when I want to.